Welcome back to the SkillsHub.life YouTube channel. I am Jennifer Hale. I've been doing this career for a few minutes and I come in here to share stuff on behalf of SkillsHub.life and myself that I hope makes your life a little easier. Today I want to talk about business. The thing that a lot of people don't talk about is that when you go into this industry, you are two things. You are an artist and you are a business person. You own a business. Your business is you and your talent. And a lot of people don't teach how to manage your business, how to run your business, how to keep your business going and growing and taking care of you. I recently had a panel in my Start It class, which is a five-week class on how to get started in the industry. And one of the panelists was Tom Deere. Tom is a performer and a teacher and uh, a, an artist in his many fields who is really, really savvy about business. And Tom had some really great things to say. Have a listen. You are ultimately responsible for your own career. People think that they get an agent and the agent will hand them a career on a silver platter. And that is patently false. An agent's job is to make money. And the only way they can make money is if they bring people on who have value, who have demonstrated value. And it's not just your squeaky, silly voices that you can make. It's your ability to deliver the goods and not be a pain in the It's the same exact thing as when you're looking for a good dentist or a good lawyer or a good mechanic. You know, can I work with this person? Do they work fast? Are they a pain in the ass to work with or not? Reps want to work with great people who are great storytellers, who have their business sense on and have the stars rubbed out of their eyes and a clear understanding of what the business is about. With that in mind, you'll know you're ready for an agent when your friends start telling you, you know, um, I'm on Atlas and I heard that they have a slot open for your demographic. You should email them. Please tell them I sent you because 99% of agents, the emails that they get, unless there's a referral attached to it, will be completely ignored. So everyone thinks I got to submit to the agent and pray, submit and pray, submit and pray. No, it's develop your skill sets, develop your relationships, and then the industry will tell you when it is time to get representation. The other thing that I'll also say is, according to the last voiceover, the big voiceover survey that Nava helps produce, an extremely small percentage of any voice actor's income is agent-driven. Representation can and should be part of a balanced breakfast. Almost nobody gets by it being the entire meal, okay? For most people, it's not the ham and eggs. It's like those little three grapes on the side of the plate. Uh, For some people, it's more. For some people, it's less. But getting an agent isn't the end-all, be-all. It can be, especially if those are what your goals are. If it's all cartoons and video games, high-end stuff, representation is the only people that cast those things, then yeah, sure it will be. But you got to be patient. You got to be smart. Everybody has a long memory, and we all talk to each other like 14-year-old schoolgirls. So be really smart about doing it. Let the industry tell you. There are different definitions of success. sag after a union-driven, Class A national promo cartoon video game used to be the only definition of success. There was only one because there were no pay-to-play sites. There was no such thing as an explainer video. Now it is a definition of voiceover success. There's more than one way to do something right, and there's more than one way to be successful. And your definition of success is whatever your definition of success is, not the loudest jerk in the Facebook group that you're a member of. So this is a sample of some of the thousands of hours of insight that our coaches have into this industry and into how to make your life better and easier and more successful. We're really glad you're here. See you soon.